Question time. Are you using Ableton? Yeah, boy! Does your CPU hate you? Do you use a shitload of serums? Maybe you're using other CPU draining VSTs in your mix. You can't progress any further because when you play it, it goes... <laughs> well, there is a trick, which I'm here to show you today. A little quick trick in Ableton called freeze and flattening. And if you don't know what this is, holy shit, you are in for a treat. <laughs> so to kick things off, I have serum open and I have the push going. And my CPU is bouncing around between what's that, 8 and 12, I guess. But that's just a small instance. If you have a massive amount of serums or massives and FM8s and contacts and all this other shit that's draining all your resources from your computer, and you've got a fat mix going like 50 to 100 tracks, and your CPU is kind of going bouncing off 60, 80 plus, or it's just making that horrible sound when you try to hit play the. <laughs> yeah, this trick will help out. Actually, let's let's load up a shitload of plugins on top of it. So let's just say you had a bunch of effects and other plugins on top of your serum already and so your CPU is hating you right now. So all you have to do is right click on the channel name and go freeze track. Cool. And so everything will be a greyish tint and you can't click on any of your plugins. And you're like, why would I want that Sam? I want to control my plugins. Well, your track still plays fine. So what this freeze has done, it's essentially frozen your track. It's rendered the audio behind and it's just playing the audio, it's not playing the VST itself. But what it's also done is remembered all your settings. So look at my CPU now, 2%. It was what, 8, 13 before? And so it's just holding everything in place. If you want to go back to use it, all you have to do is go unfreeze. And everything's back to normal. You can edit your plugins, whatever, edit your MIDI notes etc etc but here's the handy thing as well go back into freezing track you can also go flatten and flatten like the name suggests it just flattens your track out so now it's just pure audio there's no VSTs or effects or anything you can see the waveforms as it is here plays normally etc etc but the thing is you can't go back and unfreeze your track once it's flattened that's it it's audio you can go like command Z and bring it back. If you're like way down the track and you realize, oh, you want to work on that effect or VST again. It's a little late. So flatten is your final process if you just want to bounce it out to audio or resample it, work on the audio file, uh, warp it, pitch it, etc, etc. And another cool thing about freezing the track, although you can't access any of your effects or plugins, you can, since it's technically audio, even though you can see the MIDI, it's just playing the audio behind. Um, you can adjust your basic parameters like volume, pan, sends, etc, etc. You can't access any automation sadly, but like, but yeah, freezing or flattening your track, CPU saver, it's just playing back audio, it's not playing back your virtual instrument and effects, but yeah, it's a lifesaver, it can definitely help you in the future if you've got a massive cluttered project. I will give you a word of warning, you'll discover this if you try it anyway, um, if you've got uh, sidechain compression happening, it won't allow you to freeze or flatten your tracks because it relies on a live um, input source or whatever. So you can just like group it or send that output to a different channel and then put the compressed sidechain compression on the other channel and then just freeze or flatten your track. And yeah, that's it for today's quick tips. Hopefully you learned a thing or two.